Hello friends, good morning. Welcome to our chemistry class. Today we are going to discuss about the nitrogen rule. Okay, let us start. See, nitrogen is the element. It is means this nitrogen has unique property. What is its unique property means? It is the atom with even mass but odd valence. We know uh, atomic number of nitrogen is seven. Means its valence is seven. So odd valency. What is the mass number of nitrogen? Fourteen. So even mass but odd valent. Okay. Next, nitrogen rule states that see, a molecule that has means here we can take any molecule. If means in that molecule even number of nitrogen atoms or nitrogen atoms may be absent. In these two cases we will get the mass of that molecule as even this is the first case whereas a molecule that has odd number of nitrogen atoms has odd nominal mass i hope you understood friends let's see again see here we can take any molecule and we have to count the number of nitrogen atoms if within that molecule even number of nitrogen atoms or nitrogen atoms may be absent in that case if we find or if we observe the mass there we will get even mass whereas and this is the second case friends see whereas a molecule that molecule may have odd number of nitrogen atoms then there we will observe odd mass see that is the nitrogen rule okay let's see the uses see use nitrogen rule is useful for identification of molecular ions because many peaks can be ruled out on the basis of structural requirements means see by using this nitrogen rule we can identify the molecular ions why means because many peaks can be ruled out based on the structural requirements so that's why okay next this nitrogen rule is applicable for the compounds have we carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen sulfur and halogens okay the compounds which are having these atoms so for this the nitrogen rule is applicable okay let us understand this by taking some examples okay see here we have taken methyl amine so according to our rule first what we had to do first we had to count the number of nitrogen atoms see in this only one nitrogen atom is present so odd number of nitrogen atom is present so we know that if we have odd number of nitrogen atoms means we will get odd mass so see here the number of nitrogen atoms are one so odd number mass so here we have to find the mass we know the mass of carbon is 12 uh, hydrogen is 5 see here the nitrogen so one nitrogen means 14 mass so here we got 31 that is odd mass okay odd number of nitrogen atoms are present so here we got odd mass okay this is example for odd number of nitrogen atoms having odd mass next let us take second example see first we have to count number of nitrogen atoms in this two nitrogen atoms are present that means even number of nitrogen atoms are present so that we will get even mass okay let us find see number of nitrogen atoms are two so even so if you find the mass here we will get 60 so this in, this is an example for even number of nitrogen atoms having even mass okay let us take third example this is methanol so let's see in this nitrogen atoms so are absent right so in this number of nitrogen atoms are zero so first only we have discussed in a, a molecule that have no nitrogen atoms then also here we will get even number of sorry even mass so see here the number of nitrogen atoms are zero so its mass is 32 so this is an example for compound having no nitrogen atoms but even mass so in this nitrogen atoms are absent so if you find the mass here we got the even mass that is 32 i hope you understood thank you